everybody knew she smoked reefer. In those days, reefer wasn't against the law. The color was just a haze of smoke. And I never forget, when Billy came out to sing, they put a green spot right on. She stood up on a green spot. And you better see that smoke all over the house. <laughs> oh, if you didn't smoke, you got a contact high. And she stood in that green spot and she sang and sang and sang and sang. She was terrific. Tell us something, Billy, about the background that uh, brought about your interest in jazz. Well, when I was a little girl, there was a lady on the corner that had a record machine. And I could hear the Bessie Smith. And Louis Armstrong. And I always wanted to sing like Louis Armstrong played. I always wanted to uh, sing like an instrument. Somebody told me that Billy used to go with girls. Now, is there any truth in that? Oh, of course. Her nickname among the men, they called her Mr. Billy Holiday because she was seldom seen with fellas. And I will always believe that her mother was a cause. Well, my friend today is a gal who's the world's greatest jazz vocalist, Miss Billie Holiday. Hey there, baby, make up your mind, because I've been waiting such a long, long time. I'd like to write something that is real, you know, really, as she is. Billie Holiday is it. She's the guy to every musician in the world. She sang encore after encore. I saw the whole world in that place. All of the beauty and all of the misery. Everybody that professed to know her, they knew nothing about her. No vocalist ever went through what she went through. It was very bad back in those days. She was exposing discrimination, putting it on stage. All of my time was getting hurt. She just suffered. The things that I sing, they have a meaning. Southern trees, bear strange fruit. Here is a strange... Billie Holiday sang only truth. And bitter. She knew nothing else. Cry. And it's just too bad that it took all this time for all of this to come up.